We begin our story in a small town near the crossroads of the Atlantic and the Mediterranean. They call Aveiro the Venice of Portugal. Visitors flock here because of the picturesque location. A series of canals and bridges set against classical architecture dating back to the 16th century. But for those who call Aveiro home, for those who treasure its traditional way of life, they know that it is famous for more than its quaint buildings and scenic canals. 400 years ago, this was where the world's largest long-distance fishing fleet set sail for North America. Though aided by the navigational skills developed by early explorers, the crossing was never easy. Especially when the fleet reached the treacherous waters of the North Atlantic. But when the boats finally arrived at the fishing grounds off Newfoundland and New England, what they found was the richest cod fishery in the world. Each morning, the fishermen set out in one-man dories. For the next 10 hours, they hand-lined for cod. Just before sundown, the dorymen returned to the mothership to unload the day's catch, and then spend many more hours cleaning and salting the cod. Though the work was hard, this was a proud way of life that helped feed the world for centuries. As word spread about the size of the fishery, fleets from all over the world joined the hunt. Every year, the size of the fleet got bigger, and every year, the size of the catch increased. Towards the end of the 20th century, over three billion pounds of Atlantic cod were pulled each year from the fertile waters of the North Atlantic. What happened next was unimaginable. Nets started coming up empty. It turns out that the fleet was catching cod faster than they could reproduce. And by the end of the 20th century, one of the largest fisheries in the world collapsed. It's human nature to kind of overdo a good thing. And fisheries have done that repeatedly. The, the history of fisheries is pretty much boom and bust. You find one thing, you drive it down, deplete it, then find some new thing, drive it down, deplete it. Can you imagine after feeding the world for hundreds of years, we showed our gratitude by nearly wiping cod off the face of the earth. Today, the species is on the verge of extinction. And for the fishermen of Aveiro, the consequences have been devastating. Here, along the city's commercial waterfront, nearly 80% of Portugal's long-distance trawlers rust away in watery graves. When the cod fishery collapsed, Averro's economy also collapsed. 